I started learning ballroom dancing as a first year Harvard Medical School medical student in Boston, and I was on the team of Harvard and MIT ballroom dance team. And we thought we were pretty good. We got a team together, but then we competed in U.S. National Collegiate Championships. We were dead last. So then we thought we got to change. We, you know, Harvard students, we could be just could not be just bookworms. So we, the, our team got together and we hired a coach. And one day, coach came and put all the boys on one side, on the ladies on the other side, and she said, "Men, do you all know that you're supposed to lead?" We said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all those ladies' fault. They don't know how to follow." But、uh, the coach then said, "Do you know about pre-lead?" We said. No, what's that? She said that as a man, as the leader, before you lead, before you actually move, you're supposed to have a period called pre-lead, meaning that you stand there without moving, without moving, and expand in your body to indicate, just indicate your intention of moving. It's about the awareness of another human being. It's about the sensitivity towards her or him, about not only her、um, physical position, which where her feet are and arms are, but also her emotional position. Does she feel sad? Does she feel happy? How do you express music together? Because no matter how good you are by yourself, if you don't know how to be connected to another human being, you cannot do ballroom dance well. So the most magical thing when you watch a ballroom dancing is not what you see the movement, but it's about that split a second before each movement, that compromise, that negotiation, that two people work together to form a unified plan. So when I practice medicine, when I see patients, I know that at the end of the day, it's not what I think is most important; it's what the patient thinks is most important. I need to speak in the language of listener. I need to understand at the end of the day is to listen, is to feel, to be connected to your patients, is to make your patient happy. And that I learned from ballroom dancing.